Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today I am once again working on my full Red Hood cosplay. I have built two helmets, a chest plate, some arm bracers, and this week I thought I would make the leg, shin, guard things. Yeah, today we're gonna make some shin guards out of EVA foam, put some buckles on it, and design it after the bracers that we made last week and hopefully turn out something kind of epic. Yeah. Let's get to building. So for those of you just tuning in on this build, this is like the fifth part. The process of this piece will be pretty much exactly the same as last week. It may be a crazy thought, but shin guards are just large arm bracers. There, I said it. I put on the boots I will use for the cosplay and held some poster board over my shin area to get the dimensions I wanted. From my ankle to just below my knee is about 15 inches, if that helps you gauge how it is on you. It took me about two or three hours to come up with my design, trying to incorporate other armor parts in it to unify the costume. I also made a little separate boot topper to hide the laces. This template, like all of my templates, is free and in the description below the video it goes with. So here is what I came up with for my design. It looks a little bit futuristic, like maybe a Master Chief from Halo type vibe. I separate all the parts into their different foam thicknesses and trace them onto EVA foam, making sure to make two of each part for the right and the left set. All of the colors, markings, and other various labels are explained on the cover letter of my template. I also list out materials and tools that I used for the build if you want to try it for for yourself. And if you do, please make sure to tag me in any social media posts. I love seeing my patterns put to good use. I have my patterns off to the side visible as I begin cutting all of this foam with a sharp hobby knife. When you're cutting foam, the sharper the blade and the cleaner the pull, the less cleanup you'll have to do later. Make sure to be careful when working with sharp objects as you may cut yourself. No duh.
all of my overlay pieces and most of the outside edges of my pieces get rounded over corners. You could do this after assembly if you are uncertain about which parts you want to keep what, but it's a lot easier when the pieces are loose. I make a rough pass with a sanding drum on my rotary tool, then I clean it up with a stone bit to smooth it out. While I'm at it, I went ahead and burned in the red line details with my wood burner. Make sure to wear a respirator and work in a well ventilated area while sanding or burning foam. You don't want to breathe in the dust or the fumes. While the majority of this build will stay straight edged, I do need to reform the foam a little. Some of my foam was still in a tight roll from the packaging and it's bent up in the wrong way. I heat up my foam with a heat gun and then bend it to better fit my shin and calf area. You can also reshape it after you have it assembled, but you run the risk of separating seams or messing up your alignment. I put contact cement on the edges, give it a few minutes to set up, and then tack the parts together. I have registration marks along these parts to help you line up the slight curve in the middle. My contact cement of choice is Barge, not a sponsor. It's a little more expensive than a lot of contact cements, but I never have any issues with the hold power on a single coat of it, which ultimately saves me time. I went a little crazy on the layers for this build, but hopefully the patterns make it all clear as mud. I added blue dotted areas on my parts so that you can see where they align with other bits. This part is labeled as the middle kneecap overlay. It is between the base layer and the top. Once I have these three parts together, then I round over all the edges before glue up. You could also reposition this piece to cover more or less of your knee if you need to. I put mine where it sits just below the my kneecaps so that it doesn't make it hard to walk in.
this is all the overlays for the base layer. I pre-marked where they should be positioned, glue them up, and then stick my parts together. For the other leg, everything is just mirrored. I thought about adding some spikes like I did for the bracer, but I didn't like how it looked. The shapes of the overlay mimic the style of my bracers and my chest armor. The top kneecap is made of three parts, which I beveled the top most layer except for in the middle. I still haven't plotted out where I want the lights to go for this costume, but plan on adding some for the bracer, the shin guards, and the chest armor. Once this is glued up and stuck together, I do the same steps as the rest of the parts, rounding over edges before I glue them to the base. The little pieces of armor will go on my boots to cover up the lace area. I could permanently glue them to the boots, but I plan on using these boots for my Ghostbuster cosplay later. This will give the boots a different look without having to buy another pair of expensive combat boots. Same process as the other steps, glue, wait for tackiness, stick them together, sand over parts. I poke some wire into the backside of my parts to make it easier to hold while I give it two coats of Plasti Dip. I had to Plasti Dip in pretty cold weather this week. The rest of the armor parts were already Plasti Dip, so I wanted these to match. At 12 degrees Fahrenheit, Plasti Dip does not flow out of the can, so I had to use a little trick to increase the temperature. I got a flower vase, put it in my sink, and then filled it with hot water. I let my can take a little hot tub bath in it for a couple of minutes, and then quickly jumped outside and sprayed each part as fast as humanly possible. The parts dried inside my build room with my air purifier on full blast and me nowhere near the room for a couple of hours. Keeping the paint scheme simple like the rest of my armor, I hand painted on some black with a little bit of silver acrylic mixed into it on some of the details. I thought about red in a couple of areas but decided against it because it would have taken a lot of coverage in order to get it how I wanted so I just went with the uh, silver and black. I 
I'm going to use two different kinds of strapping for the two pieces of armor. The boot shoelace covers are going to get some one inch elastic banding on them with some two millimeter foam reinforcing the inside. I have my boots handy to do it over for a perfect snug fit. The elastic will loop around the arch area in the boot and should hold pretty well being slid on and off. I thought about using Velcro on the bottom, but I really needed those side flaps to be pulled down flat on the sides of the boot. And as I didn't want to make this a permanent install, this application made the most sense to me. For the actual shin guards, I went with the same one inch nylon strapping and metal quick release buckles that I used on the arm bracers. I'm guessing at the placement of where they should go, but here's my rationale for why I glued up where I glued up. The one on the top will catch just above my calf at an angle to keep it from dropping down, and the one at the bottom is an inch or two above my ankle to allow it to bend more freely. I glue the buckles closed on one side and glue it close to an edge. Then I glue the continuous strap across the other way and sandwich it between some two millimeter EVA foam. This adds a little padding to the strapping and helps to hold it into place. It should be less likely to tear with the added lining. Time will tell on that theory. It'll mostly be on my mannequin and he doesn't really move around a lot. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, I think they turned out pretty cool. Definitely more of like a futuristic vibe to it. And I think once I put the red lights in it, it's definitely gonna sell that more futuristic version of Red Hood, but yeah. Maybe you will try and make one of these yourselves and impress your friends with your ability to turn some random piece of foam into some shin guard armor that isn't gonna protect your shins in the slightest. Yeah. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're gonna ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. I guess some, um, like, test it out on your face. Pretend like I'm kicking it. Ah!
If you enjoy what I do here on YouTube and want to see more builds like this one, please consider joining these awesome people listed here with me over on my Patreon to build a bigger, better, more creative community together.